We've gathered here in this beautiful place to celebrate the coming together of two lives. And they realize that this commitment is not to be entered into lightly, rather with certainty, mutual respect, and a sense of honor. Emily and Jay, as you know, no minister, priest, rabbi, or public official marry you. You marry yourselves as you are the ministers of your marriage and of your commitment to each other. And by a mutual commitment to love each other, to always work toward creating an atmosphere of care, consideration, and respect, by a willingness to face the tensions and anxieties that are part of human life, you will make your wedded life come alive and continue to remain alive for years to come. I know we always joke that I process feelings a lot slower than you, but I've known for a while that you're the one who I want to spend the rest of my life with. You make it incredibly easy to love you, live with you, and have a relationship with you. Not only are you my soon-to-be wife, but you've always been my best friend. You make me laugh, smile, and cry, and I love you more every minute for it. This is all so surreal to me. When people ask if I'm excited to be married, it's an absolute no-brainer. I've seriously never been more excited or more prepared for anything in my life. You bring out the absolute best in me, and without you, I would be lost. It is so crazy to see pictures of us when we're young. I wish I could go back and tell them everything I'm feeling right now. The only thing I could probably say would be, you're going to marry that girl someday. Oh God. And she will be the best wife on this earth. Nobody gets me like you do, Em. You were made for me. I want you to know I'll never stop loving you. And the only reason I will love you more today than I did yesterday is because my love for you never stops growing. And I find myself falling more and more in love with you every day. I'll love you through the good, the bad, and the ugly, forever and always, Jay. privilege for the first time to announce the newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Angerwitt. I'm sitting at our coffee table in our first home together, thinking about how I want to remember this moment for the rest of my life. I have loved you with every beat of my heart since we were 16. You have an infectious energy that makes me so proud to love you and be loved by you. You make me feel beautiful, comfortable, supported, and loved, and I wouldn't change a thing about the path that got us to where we are today. Loving you has been the most exciting, fulfilling adventure I could ever ask for. We've grown so much together over these past 10 years, and we are so lucky to have basically grown up together. But this is just the beginning. This is the start of our journey together, and I wouldn't want anyone else by my side. I promise to build a home with you filled with laughter, love, and support. I promise to keep pushing you to be your best self, and to never stop showing you how important you are to me. I promise to work at our love every day and always make you a priority in my life. Let's soak in every ounce of today. We're going to remember it for the rest of our lives. To quote from the best TV show to ever exist, every child grows up thinking their parents are soulmates. Our kids are going to be right about that. See you soon, Ham. Chris and I liked you from the start. You were about the most polite, thoughtful, mature young man anybody could ever hope to, to meet. 
you know, we, we saw how you treated Emily. We saw how you cared for her. You really were mature, I thought, but beyond your years. And then we watched you guys go off to college together at St. Thomas. We are delighted that you and Emily found each other, that we're here tonight, and you felt like a member of the family for a long time, but tonight we're just delighted to make it official. Let's raise a glass and let's have a drink for Jay and Emily Angusman.